Did you know that this book is credited with establishing widespread support for Israel among Americans? Published in 1958, Leon Uris's novel Exodus tells the story of the founding of the State of Israel from the perspective of Jews fleeing Europe after the Holocaust. In 1960, the book was adapted into a Zionist epic, winning numerous Hollywood awards. The movie's theme song, This Land Is Mine, even stayed on the US Billboard charts for six weeks. God gave this land to me. Translated into 50 languages, the book became an international phenomenon a fixture in American Jewish homes and remains one of the biggest American bestsellers of all time. Israel's first prime minister, David Ben-Gurion, even commented on the novel, stating, as a piece of propaganda, it's the greatest thing ever written about Israel. The book tells the story of Jewish mass migration to Palestine and their attempts to bypass British regulations that were restricting Jewish resettlement. The novel's hero, Ari ben Kanan, is assisted by an American nurse, Kitty Fremont, who is initially skeptical of Jews, but eventually strongly endorses the creation of Israel. Together, they develop new agricultural methods, expel the British, declare Israel a Jewish state, and fight the Palestinians. This journey of uniting loyalty to America and Israel was pivotal for the post-war generation, creating a Western fantasy around Israel that they could support. While early Zionists are depicted as noble freedom fighters willing to die for the sake of their homeland, the book is controversial for its racist depiction of Palestinians, describing Arabs as smelly, illiterate, violent, morally bankrupt, and barely present in a largely uninhabited region. It also upholds Israel's myth on the forced expulsion of Palestinians during the Nakba, or catastrophe, claiming that neighboring Arab leaders told Palestinians to leave while Zionists asked them to stay. The massacre of over 100 Palestinian villagers in Deir Yassin by Zionist paratroopers is retold as resulting from a panic, ignoring the Israeli admissions of executions, mutilations, and rape. But 65 years later, the younger generation of Americans have become uncomfortable with this uncritical mainstream narrative around Israel's creation and its ongoing occupation of Palestinian territories.